Welcome to the QuickBooks University video training series. My name is Matt Holtquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina. I run a website at qbuniversity.org. It's the QuickBooks University where we have 37 uh, training videos on QuickBooks on how to use every aspect of QuickBooks in QuickBooks 2012 as long as as well as an advanced video training series in QuickBooks and how to run your business. Uh, in this video what I wanted to show you was how to navigate in QuickBooks 2012 and because QuickBooks you know it evolves over the years and each different version uh, changes just a little bit. A few years ago they came out with this flow chart here that you see on the screen and uh, this is designed to give the sort of everyday business user uh, a, a easy way to understand the flow of information in QuickBooks, okay? So to get to something relatively quickly in QuickBooks, you can go to this home screen. This is right here at home. You can click this button to get here. And you'll see that you can navigate around to different aspects of QuickBooks that you would need. Okay. As an example, if you wanted to enter your time and then bill that time to an invoice, okay, and then invoice the customer and receive payments, and then record your deposits. Same thing over here enter a bill, pay bills. Or you could do a purchase order, receive inventory, enter your bills against inventory, and then pay bills. Okay, so there, because there is a certain way that you have to enter information into QuickBooks, especially if you have inventory or if you bill time and expenses to customers or materials, there is a certain sequence that you want to enter the information into QuickBooks. Otherwise, it can really mess up your books. Okay, so here in QuickBooks, uh, you've got this flow chart here. So this is a real easy way to uh, understand how to enter information. Once you get the hang of QuickBooks, you've got a lot of these shortcut buttons up here that you can also use. As an example, okay, you'll see here invoices. If we want to create an invoice, you can click Create Invoice, and it takes you to the invoice form or you have a shortcut button up here that says invoice takes you right to the invoice okay so that's two ways all these buttons up here do a lot of what's down here it's just another way to get to the information quickly okay now the the final option is just to use the i say old-fashioned windows drop down menu okay so if you wanted to create an invoice you could go to customers and then down to create invoices and you're going to get to the invoice screen okay again all ways that you can get to different areas in QuickBooks now this home screen has a lot of the important information that you're going to use frequently but it doesn't have everything okay so I encourage you to also look in the drop-down menus because there are different things in the drop-down menus that you're not going to necessarily have on this home screen okay so play around and look in QuickBooks and uh, soon enough you're gonna find your way around pretty easily alright uh, for more in-depth training in QuickBooks uh, pretty much including every aspect of QuickBooks with 37 uh, training videos please visit qbuniversity.org. That's the QuickBooks University. And I look forward to seeing you over there.